Hi boys and girls. Today, this week, we are talking about another pop artist, one of my favorite pop artists. As you can see, I'm wearing his art today. His name is Keith Herring. And we are starting our class with a story about Keith Herring. So if you haven't read that story yet, you can go ahead and read that story. There is an attachment in your lesson for the Keith Herring assignment in your Google Classroom. Right now, I'm going to show you how to make a Keith Herring drawing. Now, we're going to do two drawings. The first drawing, I want you to draw with me for a practice drawing, so you can do it, use a scratch sheet of paper. And then the second drawing, I want you to make the real Keith Herring drawing that you created on your own. And you can use the examples that I posted in the, the document I shared with you in the Google Classroom um, that has the Keith Herring picture examples. So you can see all the different Keith Herring um, paintings and you can choose those, one of those, or you can make up one of your own. But first we need to practice and learn how to draw like Keith Herring. So we will start today with a pencil and a scratch sheet of paper. What you're going to do We'll make a basic stick figure. So with the pencil, I'll start with a circle for the face of our stick figure. And then a line underneath that. It kind of looks like a balloon right now. Then we'll give our stick figure some legs, two legs, and feet. And then we'll give our stick figure some arms. like that. So I'll give you some time to catch up. And notice we're not going to add eyes or a mouth because Keith Herring did not have eyes or mouth in his figures. All right. Once we've drawn our stick figure, the next thing you're going to need is a black marker or a Sharpie. Now, instead of tracing, which we usually do with a black marker, we're actually going to go around the stick figure with the black marker, just staying on the outside and following the figure all the way around. I'll stop right there. And then the same thing on the other side, stopping right there before the neck. Then I will connect this line, or both of the lines, to the circle at the top of his face. And this time, right here, I will trace the circle all the way around. All right, now we have our basic Keith Herring figure outlined. Now I'm going to erase those pencil lines inside because we don't need them anymore. So I'll take my eraser and my pencil, erase the lines. And it's okay if you don't erase them all the way because now what you're going to do is color the inside. And that will be our basic Keith Herring figure drawing. I'll show you some examples here where I colored it in. I have this one where I added the heart. And do you see the lines right here? These are called action lines. Keith Herring put the action lines around the joints, like the knees, the elbows, and the hands. And lines that come out kind of like a ray of sun around the objects like hearts. And so once you have learned how to draw, the basic Keith Herring figure. I want you to look at the different examples on the Google document in your, in your classroom. It says Keith Herring pictures, and you can look at all the different examples. And then come up with your own Keith Herring style drawing. So this is my example of one that I came up with. This is 
my family. That's my mom, me, and my sister in the heart above our head. It's very abstract, right? We don't have any any eyes, any nose, any mouth. It's just the blank abstract figure. And then I drew this one whoop, upside down of a guy break dancing and a guy listening to music on his radio, his stereo. So I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. And remember, color everything nice and neatly inside the lines and color the background completely. And then I want you to take a picture of your artwork and attach a picture into your Google Classroom assignment for Keith Herring. And you can also send it to me on Dojo if that is easier for you. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.